What's up, man? 25 gamers, real quick before I forget, because I've forgotten in every video I've done this week. Thank you guys so much for 3,000 subscribers. It meant the world to me. It, it, it's always been my goal to get over 2,000, and then I got over 2,000. Then it was my goal to get over 3,000, and and now I don't know what I have. I don't know what my goals are anymore. It's just to give you guys all the content that you deserve. So I appreciate 3,000 subscribers. I'm really excited about it, and uh, hopefully we'll just keep growing and growing and growing and growing until we have like. 3 million subscribers, that'd be pretty cool, right? Uh, but in today's video, we're going to show you something we worked on in NCAA, carried over to Madden 25, never got a chance to break it down, the Contain Blitz. Uh, today's Blitz of the Day is going to focus on the Contain Blitz. Any play, um, typically I like it out of 4-down lineman sets, but not, I mean, you know, you can finagle it and use it out of 3-2-6, 3-4, but I really like it a dime normal, uh, or dime flat, or nickel normal, or nickel strong, or 46 normal, all those formations. But for me, I really am a huge fan of it at a dime flat. So dime flat. The play we're going to look at is the cover four. I like it at the cover four the most. What you do is you take both safeties, you put them on contains. Then you take both defensive ends and you put them on contains. And then you can do whatever you want with your DTs. So, like, you put one into... What I like to do is I'll put the middle linebacker, deep blue, DT, and a hook, and then have a spy. It's actually a pretty good thing. But what you want to make sure you do is get these safeties, like, aligned there. So you might have to spread them out. Now, that's the one problem with a dime flat. You might have to spread them out. But that's the that's the little thing right there. That little V kind of thing on the outside. That's what you want them. You want them to line up. What's going to happen here is when I snap the ball. And it didn't happen. I guess they patched it. I don't know. But typically what will happen is the contains will come in. Let me try it out of a different look. Sometimes it's based on the look and then like where they're at on the field. Because dime flat, they're backed off. So maybe something like 4-3 stack. I'll show you the 4-3 stack. And show you that real quick and you like I said you can spy them do whatever you want doesn't matter and here's the contain blitz and there it is that's what I wanted to show so what happens is basically they it's like I it's the funniest thing to me I don't know I don't really know why it works to be honest <laughs> um I was just messing around like I was messing around with the contain blitz because I I I was a man. I played a man in eleven, and contain blitz was like a, a way to like occupy a lineman. And I was just messing around one time in practice, but last year, and, and I found like something that kind of worked, but it didn't work good enough for a video. And then I found it in NCAA, and it worked really well. And I, Madden, it doesn't work as well as it did in NCAA, but it's still it's pretty freaking funny. What happens is like, like the 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 tackle is like they get like they get lost. I don't know how they get lost, but like I call it the super sneaky pressure. Because they're like creeping, like you see they're creeping and then they just get in. It's weird. It, it's like the weirdest thing. But yeah, I mean, it, and what they're gonna think, and that's the cool part, is what the offensive linemen are gonna think is that those safeties coming down are in like hook zones, so they're not throwing slant routes there. So it's almost like all you gotta worry about is getting burned on the top. But the contain blitz comes in against anything. That's the thing. The way like they have to block a running back to pick it up. So and sometimes that doesn't even pick it up. So like. Here, I'll try and see if I can get an example where the blocking of the running back doesn't pick it up. So, we'll see here. See how they sneak in. But the, sometimes a blocking running back, like, makes it impossible for it to work. Um, that's the one That's the one flaw with it. And that's why I would say don't do it every down. Maybe as a max coverage defense or something you could run it. Or maybe as, like, a base play or something. But it's kind of something you don't want to throw at them when they're blocking a running back. Because sometimes they, it'll just pick it up completely and you won't be able to get in. But then other times it will still come in. So it's kind of like sketchy. Like I said, the whole thing, it, it's just a, it's just a hilarious blitz in my opinion. I, I just wanted to showcase it. Like, there you see. And like, if you use her one of the guys, like, you can do it yourself. So like, if they mess up, because like you see there, sometimes they'll mess up like on accident. Not like, not like they, they have feelings or anything. I'm saying like, sometimes the games, sometimes they just won't come in. But there you see like, they'll come in. So it's like, it's kind of sketchy when they come and when they don't. Typically, it's almost 100% if they don't block a running back. And if they do block a running back, it's it's usually like 90. Actually, it's probably like 80 now. Uh, in NCAA, it was like 90, though. But if you like wanted to maybe use her the safety, and if they, if you know, maybe they block a running back. So let me show you that real quick. I'm going to block a running back so it picks up the right edge. And then let me make, make my adjustments. 99 adjustments. And so what you can do is you can grab Nelson... And you can make just make sure he's connected here. So you can just like sit here. And then they're coming. And then they're coming. And then they're coming. And then like you can just run at them. And like use her. You can just use her run at them. And there'll be times where like you'll just come free. I mean it's not working right now. But like 
the, I'm just I'm just saying, like, if, 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 as a last resort, if they do block a running back, I would click on to one of them at least. So, like, for example, you drop everybody back, you're going to have, like, five seconds. Of, like, oh, crap, okay, I'm going to click on to my guy, and then I'm just going to bring him in, and then he's going to get picked up, and I'm just going to keep clicking on. And one of the guys will just be free. Because, like, one of the linemen, they, sometimes they just won't pick him up. So, like, I don't know. It's kind of cool. It's one of those cute little things you learn. Um, I, I really like it, though, for, for, like, situation where... For, like, situation where I know they're not blocking the running back. So, like, if they're running the same play over and over on me, then I'll just throw this at them, and it'll just freak them out. Because everything's covered for a second. And then you see the guy is going to come in. So it's it's just something to add to your playbook, guys. I thought it was a cute blitz of the day in honor of the 3,000 subscribers. Give you something cute to add to your playbook. Thanks for watching today, guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, I'm not going to be a douche to you guys today and tell you to get off my channel if you don't like my videos. But I am going to really thank you guys a lot for the support. And uh, I am going to ask you for one favor. Uh, please like the video for me today. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.